Well, before we get to our interviews, we'll throw it over to the lovely Emily Carrier with the news segment. Thank you, Mark. Hello, I'm Emily Carrier, and this is the news. Emory & Henry President Rosalind Reichard announced her retirement last week. She informed the community that she will step down at the end of this academic year. Reichard was named president in 2006, becoming the college's 20th president and first female chief executive. Emory & Henry is making plans to find a replacement. The next president is to be named by June 30, 2013. The college is racking up national awards and recognition as the new semester begins. Emory was included in the newest edition of Colleges That Change Lives, a book that has drawn several out-of-state students to the campus. And Washington Monthly ranked Emory among the, the top 50 liberal arts colleges. This is the third year ENH has been placed in the top 50. The college stands at number 33 on the list and currently ranks third in the nation for service learning. Emory & Henry is the highest ranked college or university in Virginia on the list. In contrast, a financial loss has hit 30 Emory & Henry student organizations this week. The Student Government Association funds student organizations as has been able to roll over any leftover money from one semester to the next. This year, however, the administration did not give SGA its rollover amount from last semester, which would have been $29,000. Administration also cut the budget so much that each organization has taken an additional 10% decrease in funding. We will follow up on this story in the next news segment this week. The college is asking that all Emory and Henry lovers show their school spirit this fall by wearing blue and gold on Fridays to support our athletic teams. And last but not least, McAdoo's is scheduled to be opening as we speak. That's all for tonight, and now back to Mark for the feature interview. Emily Carrier, EHC-TV.